What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. We got new mods today. The John Deere logging equipment is out. That is right. They are here, baby. We got the JD 1910G and the 1470G. Ooh, yeah, yeah. We also got the Kuhn SPV Comfort 12. This is a 12,000 liter food mixer. We also have probably the largest bell fork I have ever seen in my entire life. And we've got a Flegel guide rail. So this is really cool because we can change it. There's, there's different settings that we can do. So if you want a bell fork and a pallet fork, no more do you have to buy two things. You could buy one thing and just keep changing it. Really cool. We're going to get into these. Don't worry. We also have a liquid manure tank, but on top of that, we got the slurry trading system. Big problem right here is I can't tell which one's which. I know which one's which. This one's the sell. This one's the storage. This one's the buy. But past that, I don't... Yeah, If you place down more than one, maybe you won't even know. And we got some bell sell points. Now these are pretty cool because they're placeable sell points for your bells. Awesome. We're going to get into all this today. First things first, let's talk about this John Deere logging equipment because this stuff is awesome. This is by North Modding Company. Both of these are super, super awesome. Let's take a look at these in store first up. You're going to find these in Forestry Machines and you're going to go all the way to the right. Let's start with this guy right here. 268 horsepower, 12 miles per hour. Will Brands, we can go with Nokian or Olifoff's first. Uh, if you go with Nokian, no changes. However, if you go with these guys right here, boom, boom, boom. Oh, there's so many different choices here. It's so cool, so awesome. Now, the great thing is, because these are made by the same people, they look right together. So you got Nokian or, again, back to here all the same options how cool is that you could change this up for days and be totally cool you can also at the front so we've got blade with shield no blade with shield blade with no shield or back to normal again and you could change the engine up a little bit you go 280 horsepower you go with 320 horsepower or you can go with a 310 horsepower low range, which is really, really cool. The fact that we get options for all these is so cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those are your customization options. Now, let's hop in. Sounds good to me, sounds good to me. Of course, turn it on, everything works exactly the way you would expect it to. Cutting length is exactly the same as well. One meter through eight meter. It's not too bad, not too bad at all. Same thing goes for over here. Everything that you're used to expecting. There we go. Very similar, uh, very similar sounds there. So we've got your arm, which works pretty darn well too. I must say, it's uh, something about this arm is a little bit easier to manage than I've seen in the past. I'm not a logging guy by any means. However, this seems to be pretty simple to manage, to be completely honest with you. So I'm pretty stoked about this. Also, you have full control over this little guy in the front. Look at that. If you got stuff that you need to push around, logs you need to push around, bam. So what you're gonna hit is you're gonna hit the Y button or your triangle button on your console controller. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring in either your crane support, which is one, or your support arm, which is two, which is great that they've kind of included all that. Or if you just want to make it look like you've got <laughs> hydraulics, go for it like that. How cool is that? That is the neatest thing. I'm I'm just tickled with this little guy right here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn that off. Goodness gracious. What do we got next? Next up, we've got ourselves the Kuhn Comfort 12. Now this is a self-propelled food mixer. 12,000 liter capacity, so it's a very small capacity. I believe that makes it the smallest capacity of any self-propelled in the game. Yep, the smallest capacity of any self-propelled in the game. However, this thing sounds really good. Listen to this. 
Man, that thing sounds good. Oh, yeah. So, how does this guy work? Well, it works just like you would think. Turn it on. What you can do is you can come up and you can suck up stuff. So, we're going to go up to uh, our magic number of 40%, roughly. And then turn it off. And then we're going to go over to our hay, which we've got simply right here. Thanks to the Buy Anything mod. And we're going to suck this up and we're going to go all the way up to 80%. About right there. That'll do. About 78. That's fine. And then we're just going to top it all off with some straw. And that gives us our TMR. Gotta love it. Boom. Total mixed ration. Almost perfect. Now, we can go ahead and unload this. We can unload these anywhere, which is really nice. And the cool thing about this, too is not only, we're gonna make a mess here, but I don't even care. Not only can we, oh, it just gets stuck on everything though. That's the problem. If there's something on the ground, it does not like to, yeah, it's not a happy camper. So if you do have this guy as well, it will fill up from it. So you can fill up with your silage. You go up to your 40%, you can hit your straw, take that up another 20% and then top it off with hay, boom. Now, of course, it's much cheaper just to buy TMR, but there you go. So this guy works with the Buy Anything mod, and that is great. Next, we got a couple bell forks. We're gonna start with the bell fork self-made. There's not a lot we can do with this. However, it is huge. You could probably pick up like eight square bells, something wild with this. Let's take a look at this. It's gonna be in wheel loaders. Boom, 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 right here. Bell Fork self-made design color. You can change these just about any color you'd like. That's going to be the, the back. And then that's going to be the front. Do some bright colors so you can see the difference there. It's going to cost you $1,600. And if you decide to change the colors on it at all, it's going to cost you an extra $700, bringing your total to $2,300 for this guy right here. Absolutely massive. We went with the JCB colors on that one, but goodness gracious. Here... We have the Flegel Guide Rail. Now, let's bump in. This is going to be in front loaders, and it's going to cost you 800 bucks. Pretty cheap, not bad. Now, we could change two things. It's going to be color. It's either red or black. Now, we're going to keep it on red just to show you. So we have the pallet fork option. We have the two bell tines, four bell tines, and six bell tines. So there's no other options other than that. Now, you may look at this and see, oh, it says, uh, says right here. It's got the thing. But you can't do everything at once, unfortunately. It does stink, but it is what it is nonetheless. Now, we are going to buy one of these because I think I see something. And I was right. We've got another one of these. This is awesome. I love these. These are great. So you can make them go in and out either way. Now... If you have this one installed, the uh, the bell fork version, it will make the noise. However, it doesn't do anything, obviously. So that's only going to be on your pallet fork version. However, it is nice that it does that. That's pretty cool. Ah, this is something about that. I love that. I love that. Moving on. Let's talk slurry for a moment, because we've got some new mods that are for slurry. So we have the liquid manure tank. This is a purchase point only. We also got the slurry trading system, which is a sell point, a storage point, and a buy point. Let's take a look at these, because one of these mods basically negates the need for the other. First up, we have the liquid manure tank. This is gonna cost you 25 bucks a day to have and is $50,000 to place just for a purchase point for slurry. A little high if you, if <laughs> it's just something crazy. But here's the thing, you don't think that it's high until you see the slurry trading mod, which is 15,000 and doesn't cost you anything so you get three of these. You get the shop so you can buy slurry. You get storage so you can have up to 250,000 liters of storage. Or slurry trader where you can sell the slurry. And they're all 15 grand. You could buy all three of these for less than the price that it costs the other one. 
and still make money because you could sell it back to itself. <laughs> it's, just, it's just crazy. So there you go. Now, the problem is there's no signs. And I imagine in a future update, there will be signs. However, there are no signs right now, at least that I've been able to find. If I'm missing them, please let me know because I'm desperately looking for them. So which one is which? Well, I know which one's which, but you may not. So you're going to need to jump in a truck. So we're going to hop in here. First things first, we're going to try out this one. Again, it's a buy point. It's pretty easy. Boom, boom, boom. And it's going up. Now, let's make our way over here because these are all a bit different. Boom, boom, and boom. So right here, this is going to be another, bur another buy point. I know, I know. So now if we back up, this is our storage, right? So now we are loading back up. So we're loading back up with all the slurry that we had. Now we can back up here. So evidently the uh, pickup patterns are a little bit bigger than I thought they were over here, but nonetheless, it's all good. It is all good. They, they work perfectly, just maybe don't put them so close together like I did. It's not a bad idea, it just is what it is. Also, this truck, phenomenal. If you guys haven't got this truck yet, I don't know what you're doing. You need to get that truck. We got stuff for bales. So what we have are three different locations that we can do bales at. We're gonna take a look at these. These are going to be in miscellaneous and they're gonna be pretty, pretty early. 20,000, 25,000, and 30,000. So when we first got these, we were thinking, oh, you know, we're gonna be able to store our bales and they're gonna disappear and then pop back up when we need them. Nope, unfortunately that's not the case. These are just sell points and they're covered areas where you can put the bales inside. So you get a long one, a longer one, and then a double-sided one. Taking a look at all of these, I mean, they look great. Don't get me wrong. These are actually really good, and and I think these are going to be beneficial for a lot of people who maybe you know have a farm where maybe on Felsburn where the barn is a lot further away than you may want. These are just really cool, <laughs> really really cool. But they're all identically the same, more or less. They just have a bell sell point. But you can sell more than just bells. Let's take a look at these because when you place them down, you get a sell point marker. So not only can you do bells, but you can also do cotton and you can do, oh my goodness, you could do wool as well. And not only that, my price for wool is actually a little bit better than it is at the spinnery. Boom. Now, of course we could sell bells. And I'm going to show you guys that. All of these are exactly the same, so we're just going to show off one of them. We're going to bring this right here. And then bring this down. And bring it back. Again, bells of any kind, wool, cotton, or just your regular bells. These will all work exactly the way you would expect them to. Bring them in and drop them down. Waiting for the cue. Pow. There we go, sold bells, good to go. Now, you also know that when we have mods similar to this, we can also sell loose. So can we sell loose at these sell points? What we've got here is some loose hay, which you would expect to be able to sell at a barn. However, can we sell it here? And that answer is unfortunately no. No, you can't. It will have to be in bell form or else you will make a huge pile of hay, just like we have, and then you'll have to come clean it all up. Which is no bueno. Not good at all, not good at all. We're gonna leave that sitting. We've also got an update today. There was an update to the manure shop and manure trader. Uh, sell point price has been adjusted and the mod version was adjusted for the update 1.3 to version 43 which should improve the performance a bit. At least that's what they say. So nonetheless, we've got an update to this, so if you're using that mod, make sure that you update it. We also have a new map today. 
Logging in the Mountains by Stefan 1997. This is Logging in the Mountains is a particularly very hilly forest. Oh goodness, map <laughs> surrounded by a beautiful lake. At the sawmill, you could sell your logs and wood chips. So this is a very, it's actually a pretty small map to be completely honest with you. But the great thing is it's complete, it's totally full of logs like everywhere. So you will be able to do much, much logging. There's not a whole lot to this map, with the exception of logging. And I know that's the, I know that's the whole point to begin with, but nonetheless, it is very, very cool. It's very, very big ish, small. I don't, I'm not a logging guy. I don't know. <laughs> it's like it does something about logging with farming simulators is a totally different game altogether. Very cool. Nonetheless, it's nothing wrong with it at all. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those down in the comments section below. Be happy to help you guys out. That being said, hope you have a great day and we will see you later. Peace.